This is eLife Reflections. Hello and welcome to another time of devotional studies. Today, we will be considering the topic, Your Clothes Matter. And our scripture is taken from Colossians chapter 3, verses 12 to 14. I read from the message translation. So, chosen by God for this new life of love, dress in the wardrobe God picked out for you. Compassion, kindness, humility, quiet strength, discipline. Be even tempered, content with second place, quick to forgive an offense. Forgive as quickly and completely as the master forgave you. And regardless of what else you put on, wear love. It's your basic all-purpose garment. Never be without it. Hallelujah. Paul, in the verses above, spoke to the Colossian believers about what to put on as clothes. Beloved, the type of clothes a person wears express a lot about the individual's identity, their status, personality, occupation, nationality, religion, culture, etc. The colors of clothes and accessories are also descriptive and helps to easily identify individuals even in a big crowd. Badges or emblems that people wear also give an identity of the group they belong to. And so I wish to ask today, can we be identified as God's chosen people by what we put on? This, I guess, is food for thought for the day. Beloved, I would have us to review the scripture we have just read by answering the following. How did Paul describe his audience and what did he ask them to wear? Reference verse 12a. What kinds of clothes are in the wardrobe God picked out for them? We can find that in verse 12b. What other character traits were the believers to exemplify as God's chosen people? Reference verse 13a. How were they to forgive and who was to be their standard? Reference verse 13b. And finally, what was described as the all-purpose garment in verse 14. There are some truths in the scripture above that cannot be ignored. And so, let's do a recap. Paul described the believers as those chosen by God for this new life of love. Paul asked the believers to dress in the wardrobe God had picked out for them. Not any other wardrobe, but the one that God had picked out for them. Paul said, God's wardrobe includes compassion, kindness, humility, quiet strength, and discipline. Paul also advised the believers to be even tempered, content with second place, and quick to forgive. Paul stressed that they should forgive as quickly and completely as the master forgave them. And finally, Paul said, regardless of what they put on, they were to wear love as a basic all-purpose garment, never to be without it. Wow. How do we respond to this powerful message? In response to the above and by application, what do we have in our wardrobe and what are we to put on? Derived from the acronym DRESS, here are additional outfits from God that we must wear. Letter D in the acronym DRESS, we must be diligent, that is meticulous and hardworking as though we are working for God. Colossians chapter 3 verse 23. The Amplified puts it this way, whatever you do, whatever your task may be, work from the soul, that is, put in your very best effort as something done for the Lord and not for men. Letter R, in the acronym DRESS, we must be respectful, that is, humble and polite towards everyone we encounter, 
1 Peter chapter 2, verse 17. It reads, Show proper respect to everyone. Love the family of believers. Fear God. Anna, the emperor. Letter E, in the acronym DRESS, we must be earnest, that is, honest and sincere in everything, especially love. 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 8. Most important of all, continue to show deep love for each other, for love covers a multitude of sins. And I say amen to that. Remember that scripture said that we should wear love as an all-purpose garment and never be without it. First letter S in the acronym DRESS, we must be self-sacrificing, that is, seeking for the interest of others in humility. Colossians chapter 3 verse 12. So, as God's own people who are holy, set apart, sanctified for his purpose, and well beloved by God himself, put on a heart of compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, which has the power to endure whatever injustice or unpleasantness comes with good temper. Mm, I like the scripture. And finally, second letter S in the acronym DRESS. We must be supportive, that is caring for the needy and vulnerable. James chapter 1 verse 27. It reads, and learn to do right, see that justice is done. Help those who are oppressed, give orphans their right, and defend widows. Amen. Remember, as the chosen of God, he has carefully selected a wardrobe for us, which is to identify us for who we are and whose we are. The Bible says in Romans chapter 13, verse 14, But clothe yourself with the Lord Jesus Christ, and have no provision for, nor even think about gratifying the flesh in regard to its improper desires. Child of God, each one of us is part of the body of Christ, and we are chosen to live together in peace. So, let the peace that comes from Christ control our thoughts. Then the clothes we put on will distinguish us from others, even in the crowd. Amen. In conclusion, what have we said? The wardrobe God has selected for us include diligence, respect, earnestness, self-sacrifice, and supportiveness. I believe this has been a blessing to you. Shall we pray? Lord Jesus, in line with Philippians chapter 3 verse 14, please help us that regardless of what we put on, we will wear the emblem of love as a basic all-purpose garment. May we never be without it. Amen. Wow. This is all the time would allow us to share today. Until I come your way again, remember to make time to study these scriptures all over again. And I pray that the Holy Spirit will throw more light on his word for our growth. I love you. And remember, Jesus is coming soon. God bless you.